वेलकम टू वीएलएसआई लेक्चर सीरीज आई प्रोफेसर रितेश दोलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू डी लैच यूजिंग ट्रांसमिशन गेट इन दिस वीडियो सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी शुड नो व्हाट इज डी लैच एंड आई हैव सीन स्टूडेंट्स आर हैविंग कंफ्यूजन रिगार्डिंग डी लैच एंड डी फ्ली फ्लॉप सी देर इज ऑनली वन डिफरेंस इन बिटवीन डी लैच एंड डी फ्ली फ्लॉप इन डी लैच वी डोंट हैव क्लॉक सिग्नल एज इनपुट वाइल विद डी फ्ली फ्लॉप वी हैव क्लॉक सिग्नल एज इनपुट सो लेट मी मैंशन दैट so let us try to understand first what will be d latch and how it is functioning so in d latch there is only single input and that is input d and my output is q and here we have enable signal and as if you talk about how it is functioning then its functioning is based on enable if enable is equals to 1 you see enable is active high over here then if enable is equals to 1 you will be finding output q that will be equals to d and as if enable is equals to 0 in that case you will be finding output q that will stay in memory mode so it will store previous data if enable is equals to 0 see this is how d latch functions now we are little bit to implement this d latch by having transmission gate so first of all one should know what is transmission gate so see in transmission gate we have this symbol and you see we have control signal over here so if i say my input is a and this is my control signal then here i should be connecting control bar right so my output that will be a dot control right and over here if you see the truth table of this transmission gate then it will be explaining you here we have two signals at input one is control signal and second is input a and my output that is this let us say it is y so as if input is control and a then there are a total four combinations then my output that will be based on this control as if control is equals to 1 input will go to output so you see if control is equals to 1 input that will go to output so input is 0 and 1 over here when control is 1 1 so output is 0 1 over here but when control is 0 output will go in high impedance mode so that is how basic truth table is there with transmission gate so we can say here y that is equals to a dot control right now we will use this to form a basic circuit of d latch so here let me draw d latch circuit step by step so here we have input d and that we connect it with transmission gate so here control and control bar signal is there now you see what i'll be doing is i'll be providing enable over here so here it should be enable bar and this is my output right now you see here this output that will be coming as per first condition if enable is equals to 1 then this will be enable bar so it will be zero so this d that will come at output side so we can say our q that is equals to d when enable is equals to 1 but what about enable is equals to 0 so as if enable is equals to 0 this will go in high impedance state so it cannot hold our output right so it cannot hold our output so what we need to do we need to provide further extension to circuit so here that further extension is 
two inverter that I am connecting you see after that one more transmission gate that I am connecting so this is my control to this second transmission gate and this is what I am providing over here and here control is enable bar and enable over here so what will happen see we will be having first case so in first case as if enable is equals to 1 what will happen so as if enable is equals to 1 you see this control that is 1 over here means this D that will go to output side so we can say Q is equals to D right and in that situation if I say this is my inverter 1 and this is my inverter 2 then you see inverter 1 that will be D bar the reason is this will be getting inverted over here and inverter 2 again that will invert this so it will be D after that see there is a transmission gate so let us say this is transmission gate 2 so transmission gate 2 that is having enable bar control and enable is 1 so this transmission gate that will go in high impedance state so as it goes in high impedance state we can say this is not working right now so output is not defined by this transmission gate but output is already defined by this transmission gate that is q is equals to d right now let us have second case so in second case enable that is equals to zero so when enable is equals to zero if you see this first transmission gate then you see first transmission gate So that is having enable that is equals to zero. So this transmission gate that will go in high impedance state. So this is not working right now. We can say that. But you see this output Q which was our previous output that will be inverted by this inverter. So we can say our inverter one output. Now that will be memory bar that we can say the reason is it will be giving uh, opposite to previous holded data right and second inverter output that will be again inversion of inverter one so that will be memory now if you talk about transmission gate two then you see transmission gate two that is having enable which is zero so zero means this transmission gate will be active and it will pass on this input to output over here so this input is memory so my output will be memory by this transmission gate so we can say now our output Q that will be previous data that was memory data right so this is how D flip flop functions where as if enable is equals to 1 it will forward input to output and as if enable is equals to 0 it will hold previous data of memory so this is what about dlh implementation using transmission gate i hope that you have understood this video thank you so much for watching this video please do give your valuable suggestions the reason is your suggestions matters to me and based on that in future i'll be making videos which will be resolving your queries so please do give your valuable suggestions